Hello, I'm Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix Guides to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements and Premiere Elements together. And here we are in Adobe Premiere Elements. A cool feature in Premiere Elements is that not only is it a video editor, but it's also a disc authoring app, which means that you can use it to create DVDs and Blu-ray discs. Now the advantage to that is that it makes adding scene markers or chapter markers just a part of the editing process. You don't have to take it to a separate program to do that. You can do it all in Premiere Elements. So adding a menu marker is very easy. I'm just going to move this playhead here on the timeline to the very beginning. And there are two ways to do it. One is to go right to the marker menu like this and select menu marker, set menu marker. You can get to the same thing just by right clicking on the playhead or this CTI and selecting set menu marker. You get exactly the same thing. What you get is a menu marker option screen. Now there are three types of menu markers and they each have a unique purpose and you can select which type of marker your menu marker is going to be right here in this drop down menu. The most common is going to be the scene marker. These will be represented by a green dot along the top of the timeline. The scene markers are going to link to your DVD or your Blu-ray menus and they're going to create a little scene or chapter break on your DVD disc. So if you want your viewer to go to a specific spot in your movie, you would link then to this uh, scene marker. So we can create this first scene here and call it Driving to Ohio, for instance. And when I click OK, you see that here on my timeline, this little green dot is created. And this green dot is my menu marker. If I want to edit it, I can just double click on it again and it reopens my menu marker menu. So the name that you give it here is what's going to appear on your disk. So it's going to appear on your disk menu linking to this scene marker. Let's create another one right here, set menu marker. I just right clicked on it that time and we'll call this one Janet. We'll create one more right here and that'll help fill out our DVD. We'll call this Sean's house. Now these scene menu markers will appear on the second page of your DVD menu. So you've got a main page that just shows the title of your DVD and when you click scene selection menu and I'll show you that in a moment, these scenes will appear on there. There are two other kinds of menu markers. One is a main menu marker. In other words, this is going to appear as a link on your main menu page. So let's go ahead and set the playhead for right here. So I want to create a menu link right here, right clicking set menu marker. I want this link to appear on the main menu page. I might use this for bonus features. I might use this for a link to outtakes or a special feature program. So to have a link from my main menu to this scene, I select main menu marker and I'll call this the house tour. And we'll click OK. Now let's go into our um, actual movie menu. So I'm just going to go to tools and I'm going to go to movie menu. Okay, so let's choose, this is fine, we'll just choose the fun one. Click continue and there is our menu and of course as you know when we show you this in other tutorials you can modify or customize the title here. You can add a media clip here just to make your main menu a little more attractive. You can add a clip directly from your movie and you see that house tour is here. There's our link from our main menu as represented by this blue dot above the timeline. And if we go to our scene menu, you see there are three scenes, Driving to Ohio, Janet, and Sean's house. Now that's great. There is just one other thing to note here, and that is, what if we want to make this house tour separate from the rest of the movie? As it is set up now, the movie will play through, and it's just going to play completely through the entire timeline. Well, I don't want that. I want my house tour to appear as if it were a separate video only available when someone clicks on this house tour link on the main menu. To do that, all I have to do is add a stop marker and you don't want the stop marker to be too close to the main menu marker or that could cause problems. So I'm setting the playhead right here. We can do this right in the adjustments panel here, by the way, you don't have to get out of your movie menu panel. We can select our markers, menu marker, set menu marker, and this time we're going to choose a stop marker. Stop markers, you don't give a name or anything. You just click OK, and now we have a red marker on the timeline. Now here's what's going to happen. When somebody clicks the play button or clicks one of the scene menu buttons, the movie will play, but once it gets to this stop, it's going to go back out to the main menu. 
So in other words, the viewer will watch your video and it will appear that this whole segment up until the stop marker is one movie. On the other side of it, we have our main menu marker. And if the viewer wants to watch the house tour from the main menu, he or she can click on that and they will only see this segment here followed that follows the uh, little blue menu marker. So that's the way menu markers are used in Premiere Elements. It's like I say, very nicely integrated into the editing itself. Now, if you want to know more about this and how to use these menu markers and of course, how to customize your DVD or Blu-ray disc menu, be sure to check out the other tutorials we have here at moviepix.com. And if you want to know everything there is to know about this program, everything, <laughs> be sure to check out our books, the moviepix.com guides to Adobe Premiere Elements and the moviepix.com guides to Premiere Elements and Photoshop Elements together. They're available at amazon.com and of course right here at the movie pick store i'm steve grisetti thanks for joining me hope to see you again real soon